If you're tired of your emails landing in the spam box instead of the inbox, you've come to the right place. On today's video, I'll be showing you step by step how to set up a dedicated email domain inside of Go High Level so you can avoid this common issue. All right, so let's get this party started, guys. First things first, you got to make sure that you do have a custom domain set up that will be needed for this process. If you don't have a custom domain set up, I left the link in the description on a video step by step on how you can get that accomplished. And you can just come right back to this and keep going with this tutorial. OK, so the first thing is we're going to go ahead and go into settings here and we're going to find email services. We're going to click on email services there. Close out this notification that's telling you some of the benefits as to why having a dedicated email sending domain will improve your email delivery. OK, so click on X here. And one of the main reasons why you don't really want to use this default one here is because everybody and their mother is using this and they're sending spam. So this domain, lcmessenger.net, is probably burned to the ground right now. <laughs> but anyways, right, so let's get back to it. We're going to go ahead and click on dedicated domain here. And also make sure that you are logged into your your DNS provider. I'm going to be using Cloudflare for this one. OK, so we're going to go ahead and click on add domain here. And you're going to put the subdomain, which for me, I'm going to just use E. And then the the root domain is EliteSystems.com. Go ahead and click on add verify. All right, so here it should actually be connecting with my DNS provider. It should be trying to connect with Cloudflare. Now you can do it manually here if you'd like, but first I'm gonna do it a way that syncs with Cloudflare directly and it kind of puts them in there for you. So if this is an option, you can do this and it'll save you a few minutes of copying and pasting and adding the records, right? Go ahead and click on authorize domain. And also, don't worry, I'll be showing you the manual process in case you're not using Cloudflare or GoDaddy. Go ahead and click here on Authorize. And these are all the records that it's going to go ahead and put in there. Click on Authorize. And then you want to just give it a little bit for the DNS to propagate, for the DNS to propagate. That way you can check. Okay. So we click again. Verify domain. Not yet. Maybe give it a little bit more time. Also, if you if you have your tab open for your DNS, you can refresh it here, and then you'll see that they'll actually be in there already. You see, there they are. Now let's go back to go high level here and see if we can actually verify it. Let me see. Go back here. Click on verify now. And there it is, guys. As you can see, it's all set up. But even then, even though it adds this particular text file here will definitely help with email deliverability, we just have to change one thing, OK? So we would basically go in here, find that DMARC right there, edit it, OK, here. And then where it says none, we can either put quarantine or reject. And what that does is that any unauthorized emails will be sent to like a quarantine box or they'll get completely rejected. And this helps kind of improve your domain reputation. So we're just going to use reject for this one. Go ahead and hit save. All right, awesome. So as you can see, we're already verified. But now I'm going to go back in here and I'm going to delete all these and I'm going to do it manually. So in case you do happen to not have the um, Cloudflare or GoDaddy, you can still use this tutorial to get yours done. OK, so basically we're going to click on verify domain. Everything's good. And then now we're going to go back over here and then I'm going to delete it again because we're going to add it right now, but manually. Just wanted to include both processes in case you don't have that option. That way, this video is usable for everyone. So we'll go back over here. We're going to delete these old records that were manually added in there. There it is. Delete. There we go. All right. And then we're going to go back here and we're going to do the same exact process for adding our subdomain. We're going to put an e.elite 
systems.com. Make sure that you do spell your root domain correctly or you will have issues not with it not verifying. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and do this manually. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and pull out our Cloudflare account. Split this up a bit here, make it easier. So we're gonna start off with the text record. Um, you're gonna go to your whatever DNS that you're using. Go ahead and add record and look for the record called txt, okay? And then we're gonna go ahead and copy here. Paste that there. Copy this value here and paste it there. And then you're gonna go ahead and hit save. And then we're gonna add another record, another txt record, right? Txt. You're gonna use the root will be e. And then we're gonna copy this spf1. Save it. Now we're going to be making a C name. So you click it there. The root will be email.e. And the required value. Oh, we're going to take off the proxy status. And the required value will be mailgun.org. Yeah, make sure that it's DNS only. Okay. And then now we're going to add the MX records. These are for the actual mail. Right here. Be using root e.elitesystems.com. You can actually put all that, but if you just put e, it'll automatically fill it for you. Copy that. And then for the MXA, the priority will be 10. Save that. Do it again, another MX record. The root will be E. Copy that. This is the MXB. And this one, the MXB, I think the priority required is at least 20. Go ahead and hit save. Once that's done, one thing to, 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 to note is that it didn't actually include the DMARC text file here. But if you hit verify records, it'll take you to the next page here. And then we can get the information for the DMARC record. Right? As you see, they're all verified now except for this one, but we're going to go ahead and add this one. This one here does actually help increasing deliverability. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get a text file here. And then we're going to name it DMARC here. And then we're going to copy this here. And as you can see right here, go high level included. A couple things you can do. None doesn't really do anything for you. So I'd either recommend putting quarantine or reject. All right, so go here. Put that out. Put quarantine. Quarantine. Or we can just put reject. Get them out of here. If they're not authorized, I don't want them in my inbox. <laughs> okay, hit save. Okay, give it a few seconds to propagate, and then go ahead, and, and then we can hit verify domain here. And there it is. Everything is good. SSL has been issued. And there you go. There you go, guys. You've added your custom sending domain to go high level. But now I'm going to show you a couple things here, a ways that we can actually increase deliverability, right? So one of the things is having a dedicated header here. You can just put your business name. This one will be Lead Systems. And then the email can be like support at elitesystems.com. Oh, make sure it's spelled right, guys. Hit save it. All right, and now another, another few things while we're here for the domain configuration. I'm going to go ahead and move this back over here. Oh, okay. So here, let's say we go to domain configuration here, you can actually click that domain. And whenever we have an automation process, like somebody goes in through like a lead magnet funnel, and we're going to shoot them out an email, you can actually make it use this subdomain. Now you can actually add more than one dedicated domain. And you can actually add more in here, and it would just split the ratio. So if you added three, it'd be like 33% get sense from this one, 33 from that one and 33% from this one. And also here, in regards to the one-on-one -on -one conversation, this is in the Conversations tab. Whenever you're manually replying to people, you would hit Elite Systems right there. And that's it, guys. We've got it set up. Go ahead and go back. 
now I'm going to show you how we can actually test this to see if it's working, if if our if we have everything set up to increase our delivery rate. OK, so the first things first is we're going to go here. We're going to go to this spam checker. It's called Mail Genius, right? We can start a new test here. Copy this and then we're going to go back into go high level. We're going to go into the contacts. And then we're going to create a new contact, right? And we're going to put this email here and you can just name it test mail. OK, and then you go ahead and hit save. All right, now it should open up a conversation. And here is where we're actually going to send an email, right? It's going to be like also for best practices, right? Just know that you want to include something in the subject line, like, hey, Dom, this is just a test and then something in the body. Hey, Dom, this is Domingo with Tech Wiz Automations. Hope all is well. Just wanted to follow up and see if you were ready to buy my shit. And then we can go ahead and send it, right? And then we're going to go ahead and go back to Mel Genius here. Click on that. I'm not a robot. You can make a free account here. I think it just lets you do three of them in a month. We can hit see your score. And then right now it's checking. We can go back to this tab while it's checking there. And then you can actually click on the three dots here. And then you can check details. And it says it was delivered. Perfect, perfect. So now, awesome. So we got a 98, guys, which is pretty good. So now you can see actually here, like how you can actually increase it. It gives you some more details. But as you can see, our DMARC is working effectively. Our SPF is working great. And our DKIM is working as well. All right, now another, I'm going to show you guys a couple more things you can do inside of Go High Level that will help protect your sending reputation. Go ahead and go back to here. And then we're going to go into settings down here. And then once we're here, we're going to go into the business profile. And then we're going to scroll down here on the right side. And we're going to use these two. We're going to go ahead and mark emails as invalid due to a hard bounce. And what happens is if someone puts an invalid email, it will check it. And if it if it bounces hard because the email is no good, it will actually like stop sending to that email. You can see here it tells you in the tooltip. And then also you want to verify the email address when it's first sent to the contact to see if it's good. Right. These two things can help protect your sending domain reputation. OK. And that's pretty much it guys i hope you enjoyed this video on how to actually set up a dedicated email domain if you follow all the steps in this video you should be good to go also if this tutorial was helpful for you make sure to hit like or drop a comment below maybe talking about what you loved about the video or if you have any other questions i'll be happy to reply to you and try to help you out and also make sure to subscribe guys i'll be dropping more videos that will be super beneficial for you guys thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one